If they don't call me by 12 p.m., whether I'm on live or not, there's no excuses. If they don't call me by 12 p.m., I'm texting her with a thumbs up. Or him, sorry, I don't have her number, it's his number. <laughs> I'll text him with a thumbs up. That's it. And oh. they will never hear from me again. Never. And if you think that's classed as threatening, then you're literally sick in the head. Hey, what's up, people? So the boss Kelly situation is escalating, and I decided to make a video on it. So what's uh, been happening lately? Well, uh, on my way to celebrate my friend's birthday yesterday, I was uh, listening to a panel, and a lady was on there talking about how uh, she was trying to buy a dog from boss Callie and they're bullies as in bulldogs I guess bullies bulldogs and she was saying how uh one one moment uh he was saying that the dogs uh were gonna be XLs and another moment there weren't XLs she's not even sure if they are uh purebred etc 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 and now we have this situation where somebody did buy a dog for 1500 pounds put a 300 pound uh, down payment and took the dog. Now, I won't say I'm the best businessman because I am a businessman, but if somebody's gonna give you a 20% down and they take your product with a verbal contract, how are you gonna enforce them paying for it? Now, I'm not saying everybody is not gonna pay, but th this day and age, a lot of people are not going to pay. Let's just be honest with ourselves here. A lot of people are not going to pay. And uh, it seems uh, Boss Kelly's in this current predicament. Now, I don't know the full story. I just don't. But what I do know is that Boss Kelly is alleging that this person paid them £300. Uh, they owe £1,200. And he's given them until March the 3rd, uh, midnight, which was... I guess technically March the 4th because once men are old, just another day, right? Uh, he's going to give them another couple hours to uh, figure out the situation. Either they return the dog and get their 300 pounds back or they, they got to pay up because they're on some sort of payment plan. Now, once again, the whole business acumen thing comes in. Boss Kelly has this thing where he calls people, oh, you're stupid if you don't know this or you're dumb if you think this or you're an idiot if you think i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that well reality trumps everything and now i know for sure boss kelly does not have good business skills now what he's running is a puppy mail i'm gonna be very straightforward what he's running is a puppy mail i i wouldn't do this because there's i've seen too many uh videos i've i've experienced a lot with owning pets myself and seeing other people with pets and how people online uh, buy, sell, trade pets. And I've seen people try and sell dogs with Parvo. And there's a saying out there where it's adopt rather than buy, but it, it has a better ring to it. It's kind of like a rhyme. And I really do believe so. When I picked up uh, my animals, they were adopted rather than me going out and buying animals because there's too many people wanting to live off the avails of selling animals but they're not taking care of these animals themselves these animals are in hor horrible conditions and even somebody pointed that out with boss kelly that the pups were sleeping on the hard floor he would feed them uh only on certain occasions whenever he deemed fit they were not um feeding from the mother like as soon as he felt that they were good enough not to uh, feed from the mother, he, he he weaned them off. All these things are coming out and he would show him picking up, you know, feces off the floor and showing it on the camera, etc, etc, etc. So what he's been doing is that he's been in a very roundabout way threatening someone. He's saying it's not threats, but if you read between the lines, I'm not stupid, you're not stupid, he's not stupid, the police are not stupid. We can all read between the lines. What you're doing is saying that this person has until midnight. So uh, the 4th of March to either return the dog or come up with the money. He's going to give them a thumbs up if they don't say anything because something's going to happen to them. He won't specifically say what, but he's saying that, hey, whatever happens, happens. Something happens to them. It's not his fault. Come on. We're not dumb. 
a person with 100 IQ can figure out, yeah, it, it would be you. Just because you're saying it's not you doesn't make it not you. Like, it's just really foolish to even, even do this. It's foolish to even present this information online because you are still threatening Boss Kelly. Even though you're saying it's not a threat, but you're saying that if they don't do something by this time, that something's going to happen and it's not you. Well, we, we all know it would be you. Come on. Anyways, without further ado, let me uh, roll the the clip from the live. You guys, tell me your own thoughts about this whole entire Boss Kelly situation because it's getting from bad to worse. Now, not only did he do what he did to his mates from a couple of years ago, now he is threatening people who have bought an animal from him over, you know, certain types of papers. People are saying his papers are fake. Uh, people are saying like these pups aren't, you know, purebred genuine. They're not bullies. They're not extra large bullies. You guys can formulate your opinion on this. All I wanted to do is present information that just because he is threatening people in a roundabout way does not not make it a threat. All right, here we go. And, uh, mate, the police wouldn't do shit. It's a civil matter. I'm not scared about the police anyway. They're talking shit. So, look, at the end of the day, I've, I will say it. This is the last time I'm saying it, yeah? If they don't call me by 12 p.m., whether I'm on live or not, there's no excuses. If they don't call me by 12 p.m., I'm texting her with a thumbs up. Or him, sorry. I don't have her number. It's his number. <laughs> I'll text him with a thumbs up. That's it. And they will never hear from me again. Never. And if you think that's classed as threatening, then you're literally sick in the head. So, yeah. But if you think putting a thumbs up is threatening, then you're literally ludicrous. Callie, stop. Uh... By law, you shouldn't be sending them. My dog's not an XL, mate. If you think she's an XL, then fucking hell, mate. You must own a goldfish. Oh, yeah, all the pups have gone. There's one left, and I'm taking it tomorrow. <clears throat> Check your messages. I can't. I'm on live. Mate, like I said, karma will get them. Literally, her own dog's name will get them. That that is that is why I called her karma, because <laughs> she's either gonna do someone over or something else. But clearly they chose to be done over. No, I gave her the paperwork. I gave her the ABKC paperwork. Everything. Look, look, you lot. You need to understand. I'm not no little law-abiding citizen, mate. Like, I'm I'm just your normal average council or state guy. Like, I'm not allowing someone to bump me for twelve hundred pounds. I will sit back and laugh, and then whatever happens, happens. That's not my fault. That's not threatening. It could be a random troll. It could be anyone. Here for the Hertfordshire Massive. <laughs> Did she pay? Yeah, yeah, she gave me £300 deposit, and she owes me £1,200. Yeah, 100% Natasha. No way. <laughs> and if anyone would sit there in their right mind and go, yeah, no, do you know what, mate? I'm just going to let her have the £1,200. Do you know what, mate? She can have karma for £300. It's okay. Like, if anyone actually thinks that, then you must be literally not right in the head, mate. Yeah, I gave her the dog. Exactly. No one would allow that. No one. So it just goes to show how many wet people are on this site. Because anyone who agrees with that, I'm not being funny. If she wasn't happy with the dog when she got home or she thought the paperwork was not right, bring me the dog back. I'll give you your 300 pounds. I'll even give you your fuel money. I'll give you 50 pounds for fuel. <sighs> do, you know, do you know what I'm trying to say? I'll give you 50 pounds for fuel and your 300 pounds back. You're the one who's choosing to turn around and say you're getting bumped for £1,200. So that's it. I'm not worrying. Who's worrying? I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> I just cleaned my pup's room of dog shit. Who's worrying? I'm good, mate. 
I'm about to f I'm, I'm about to put a forty pound throw over for my pups, man. I don't think no one's worrying here, man. Honestly, I don't care what these people say or what they do. I don't care about threats. Talking's nothing. That's why I'm not talking. I don't talk. I'm not like these trolls. If she thinks that she's going to have that pup for £300, then let her think that. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but it's quite scary. If she can't pay the monthly instalments... Yeah, Jojo. If she can't pay the monthly instalments, that's a bit worrying for the dog. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And for her boyfriend to even allow that... Mate, I'm not threatening no one. There's no big man here, there's no nothing. The woman owes me £1,200. There's no big man, there's no threatening. There's none of this pathetic little immature TikTok shit. She thinks that she can bump me for £1,200, then let her think that. When really, her man should be stepping up as a man, ringing me and going, look, Dom, there was a bit of miscommunication here, mate. My wife shouldn't have gone on to her TikTok like a 16-year-old because she's actually a fully grown, big-ass woman. And uh, I will sort it out with you, Dom, man to man, and I will pay you. So please don't give me all this woman. You lot wanted 50-50 rights, mate. Stop all this, are oh, you threatening a woman? And all this, like, don't give me all that shit. You women wanted 50-50 rights, mate. Allow it. <laughs> That's why I don't buy it to you trolls. It's pathetic. I've already messaged our man. I've messaged our man and I've said to her, let me know by 12 o'clock tonight what's going on. He's clearly uh, not reading it, so that's fine. If I don't get a phone call, even if it gets to one minute past 12, I don't have nothing to do with him. I'm going to put a thumbs up and say good luck. Keep the dog. And if any of you lot think that that's bullying or threatening, then you're lost. You're a lost, lost soul. You need to go to church or go and see a doctor or something. I've proved to every single person on live, like, I'll prove it again with 650 people and we'll see who's in the wrong. So... Karma has got this, like every other pet had, yeah? Every other pup had it. This is the vaccination card, yeah? So it says, look. Look, yeah? Uh, next booster, four weeks, yeah? Body weight, 10.3 kg. This was, uh, who was this for? Who was this for? Where's the, uh, this was for Hugo. This was done like a week ago or something, longer than that, like two weeks ago. Yeah, and then it says, uh, look, I don't want to get too much in the camera. Look, worm in status, ticked. Health assessment, ticked, yeah? And then there's the, vac uh, the vaccination. So you can clearly see that Hugo's had his vaccination, yeah? And there's the date of the vaccination, yeah? And then up here, yeah, like they all say, yeah? Look, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, yeah? All of them, look. That's one. This is another one. Staffordshire Bull Terrier, yeah? Exactly the same, because they either do Staffordshire Bull Terrier or they do XL Bully, yeah? Now let me show you the uh, ABKC paperwork. <clears throat> Come out the way, puppies. All right, so here's all the ABKC paperwork. Yeah, look, if anyone knows what ABKC paperwork looks like, yeah, if you've got half a brain. Right, that's a male, yeah, so I'll show you a couple. I'm not going through them all. Look, a male, yeah. Oh, American Bully. So that is the paperwork. ABKC paperwork, yeah, American Bully. Right, there's one. Here's another one. Look. May female, same one as what she had. Oh, American bully. Like, please don't sit on here and try and chat shit. Do you know what I'm trying to say? If you think that you're going to try and go on live and try and chat shit about me, I'll violate you differently. And like I said, if, the, if her address and everything gets leaked, that is not on my behalf. 
maybe a troll might know where she lives or they might know her and they, they, they I've had it already had about 20 people going, oh, what, that Jojo woman? So all it takes is, like, happen to me. If they find out where she lives and her whole address gets leaked, that's not my problem. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? That ain't my problem. I'm too busy to be making threats and all that. I'm not a kid. So yeah, you lot have seen it for yourself. So good luck. How long have we got? We've got four hours and 42 minutes for them to call me. So that's up to them and uh, I ain't saying it again. Thank you everyone what sent me gifts and tapped the screen and all that. Right. Yeah, look, you always fucking rip up first. Wait. Oh, no, I'm cool. I'm not stressed or nothing. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm sweet. Like I say, just when, pe when people sit there, when people sit there and talk shit about me with no proof, I just like sitting there and proving them wrong. What's this? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Apparently her partner's on the phone to 101. <laughs> what are they gonna say? I've stole someone's dog and not paying them. Let them call 101, man. I couldn't give a shit. Like I said, mate, they got till 12 o'clock. I don't care. If they class that as a threat, then that's up to them. Everyone what keeps on the sand, they're not staffies. I've never said my pups are staffies. Like, are you lot, do you lot actually need help? Mate, it's my dog until the payment's been made. It's simple, paperwork or not, it don't matter. We made a verbal agreement. That's all what matters. They're bullies. I don't care about court. Jamie Lee, I don't give a fuck about court, love. When's the next payment, Drew? The 25th of next month. But they've already confirmed on... Uh, do you know what makes me laugh? This is how stupid they are. Yeah, I've got proof of what they've said on vi uh, screen recordings. Yeah, so when they ring up the police and make up bullshit, I have video proof. And I will laugh and I'll say to the police on live, fuck off. Like, you lot are deluded, mate. You're listening to all these TikTokers what have fallen off the app. Yeah, literally, it's all been on the live. No one's made no threats. Like, it's hilarious. All of these TikTokers what have fallen off the app because they all self-gift each other. Yeah, they're all in gifting rings and they're, they're absolutely fuming because there's a man with his dog, yeah, and he's up on the weeklies and that's why they're fuming. That's all it is. Everyone needs to open their eyes, mate. All of these people on the top of TikTok are all self-gifting and uh, all in gifting rings. Hey! No. 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 Callie, you're not winding them up, mate. Stop. No. No. Your mum will tell you off you, bro. 
Because <laughs> she'll tell you off. Oi! No! Oi! No! Yeah, all these people on TikTok, mate, they're all, they're all self-gifting and on fucking gifting rings, mate. And all you hard-working people are sitting there, paying them and paying them and paying them every fucking weeklies they do. Like, it's fucking crazy, mate. You lot need to all open your eyes, mate. It's absolutely mental. <clears throat> They've all collapsed and fallen off the app. The app. Mate, it's all recycled money. Yeah, I know my camera's on. Of course I know my camera's on. Now she's saying she's going to pay you. Mate, like I said, I don't care. Hey, Callie, you're going out, mate. You're fucking winding them up, mate. Come on. Callie, out. Come on. You sit there and just wind them up, mate. Fuck off. Like, banter, I've got 20 units. No, no, no. Right, let me just tell you lot something, yeah? Banter, stop, yeah? L let me tell you something, you lot. This is a bit of good knowledge for everyone because I don't chat shit, and this is why I'm going to go far on TikTok because I'm literally no filter and the most honest person on it. So, banter, yeah, got gifted by his brother. So all of them unis, what you just see a minute ago, flying around, going, Banter Hub's been sent to uni, is, all, is his brother, yeah? And to be fair, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. His brother wants to see his other brother get to the top. That's cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I don't think that's bad. But all of these other people who are up there every week... Mate, come on, man. Like, are you not actually that stupid? Like... <laughs> Even, let's say, people had multi-millionaires, yeah? Do you think they're going to spend a hundred grand every week? Like, come on, man. Like, people need to open their eyes, mate. And the reason why all of these TikTokers are pissed off with me is because I sit on that chair there with my camera pointed at my dog laying on a sofa and I'm 54 in the weeklies. That's why these lot are making up all this bullshit trying to get me cancelled and saying, oh, like, all of these people what have fell off the app, they know this is going to bring drama and they know it's going to bring clout and views and this and that. Like, everyone needs to wake up, mate. Mate, I've got an organic team. Like, my team have pushed me into the weeklies and this is the third time I've done the weeklies. So all of these TikTokers are now sitting there thinking, shit, like, we need to say something because we've got a normal guy here what sits and never shows his face, yeah, and he's fucking in the top 50s. Like, we need to do something about this. That's all it is. Like, it's literally criminal. Like, and I'm not being funny. You look at all of the other TikTokers. Mate, look at them all. Look what they do. 90% of them are full of drama. Do you know what I'm trying to say? They all, they all sit there and body shame people. And all this shit. Mate, I've never said I don't show my face. I show my face sometimes. Scooby Blue, take that shitty little Subaru, mate, and get it off my page. You should have at least bought an Evo, mate. Subarus are shit. But yeah, anyway. So, all of these people what are on TikTok are literally lying, manipulating their people. Look at, D look at DG Decker. Yeah? DG Decker was on live. Stop. Stop. D DG Decker come on live two weeks ago, crying on live, going, I can't do this no more. I'm coming off of TikTok. I can't do it. I just can't knack it. Mate, manipulating all of his people. And then a week later, guess what? He's back on live doing the weeklies. Like, fuck off, man. Are you not actually falling for this shit? Like, are people literally that brainwashed to believe that shit? It's called manipulation to your people, mate. When you're in someone's life every day, let's be honest now, all of my people are in my life every single day. If I come off live, yeah, all of my people turn around and message me and go, Dom, where are you? What's going on? Like, what's happening, bro? Like, are you not coming back on live? Like, where are you? Mate, it's because they enjoy watching you. So if I turned around and went on camera and started crying and going, I'm not coming back on no more, 
Mate, that's going to generally upset my people because they like watching you. Mate, that's manipulation. And when you do come back on, they're going to spend more and more money on you. But look where, look where DG Decker is now. <laughs> look, go on to the weeklies. I'm not lying, look. Go on to the weeklies. Press the weeklies. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's 31 in the weeklies. And I'm a nobody and I'm 54. I'm a nobody. Like, come on, man. These lot are falling off the app, mate. They need drama now to keep them back up. It's pathetic, mate. He sits there, body shames people. He's racist. He was taking the mick out of Chinese people the way they talk. Like, and you lot are basically letting him do it, like, and gifting him. <laughs> I don't know, man. Fuck knows. Like, it's absolutely pathetic, man. I'm not slagging people off, mate. I'm talking facts, mate. Just get the fuck off my page. I'm not like these other TikTokers. I don't need you. Fuck off. Like I said to everyone, give it four to six months from now and I will be number one. Regardless, yeah? Re regardless. It don't matter, yeah, if someone's at 20 million. Trust me, four to six months, I will be number one with an organic team. No self-gifting, no gifting rings, nothing. All, all my team.